a method called uh, frequency division. So I have this, uh, this nice photo and let's start duplicating the layer twice. So let's select the layer, duplicate one, two, and let's protect this layer. This is the original. So let's just lock so we can preserve and let's call this layer here uh, double click let's call color uh, this one we are going to get rid of this soon so I wouldn't bother change the name let's change the name here to original just to make things more easy for us okay the the color layer let me hide this so the color layer, what we are going to do is to blur. Okay, so filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's wait until, yeah, we got it. So let's see. I think we have 60. I think 60 is, is good enough. Yeah. Okay, let's accept. It takes a while to process. <clears throat> there you go. It's very slow because it's a high definition image. So it takes uh, quite a while. Okay, now let's select this temporary and let's change the mode of blending to grain extract. and make it visible of course so we have this funny image here so this image pretty much uh, brings the texture right so what I'm going to do uh, I'm I'm making this uh, a layer I create a new layer from visible so now this new layer, I call this new layer edges. And now we can delete this layer we don't need anymore. So let's delete. Where is the garbage? There you go. Delete. So now we change this new layer called edge, the mode to again extract gain extract and then we are kind of have the original uh, an image that looks like exactly the original so if I take the original here and put on top and you can see that there is no much difference between the the, the one that we created with the original so let's leave, leave the original uh, hidden. And now what we can do is tweak uh, and try to take, uh, to smooth the, the, the edge using this layer here. So let's select this layer and try to smooth out the textures. So first of all, we can come and and try to fix some rough textures using the healing tool for instance so let's say control click and let's get rid of this pimple same here same here so all uh, some areas is better to actually clone so let's clone this area here, which looks good, to here, same to here, same to here. So we are kind of preserving the original skin texture, however, a kind of smoothing out the imperfections. 
I wouldn't say imperfections, but anyways. Another, yeah, so we can keep going. Yeah, so this area, another thing we can do is to paint over. So I will press, I will select the paint, paint brush. I will select, I will press the key O because I want to take a sample of the the color, this grayish color. Okay, all right. And now let's go back to the print brush. Let's reduce the opacity to something like 20%. And we can kind of paint over. You get a little blurry. We can even increase the size. Let's increase the size. Stwig. Something like that. So we are not getting completely rid of the texture because it's only 20%. There you go. Let's decrease a little bit the size. I think we can use the healing tool here. Okay, so let's see how how it's getting. Okay, so this is the the new skin. Let's and this is the original. So it's clearly getting much better the the skin. a little bit more in this area here let's use the painting let's increase the size or the capacity size so retouch it original retouch it original okay I think we can fix this pimple here just by coming here um, let's use the healing actually let's use the clone So here, there you go. So this is the original, this is the retouch it. Okay, uh, I think that's, that's what I had. And so let's see once again. Oops. Working with high def, it's a little complicated. Okay, original. Retouch it. Takes a while to view the screen. All right, so the next one, let's see the how we can retouch the, the eye. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thanks.